Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I changed the tune of that. Are you surprised? Good morning, everybody. Blue Witch presents Coffee Break with Laura Gonzalez. That's me. My name is Laura Gonzalez. I am exhausted, but I am here for you. Um, we had a very, very good weekend at Circle Sanctuary celebrating the 50th anniversary of Circle and Circle Land, Circle Nature Preserve and all that. We were there. We offered some um, tarot readings on the cemetery. We offer the opening, the opening ritual um, and a class on Sunday. So, you know, lots of activities and am I on the Wi-Fi? Yes. Lots of activities and we are now ready to do the things. So let's do the things. How are you? Um, I don't know why my Instagram is not showing me people we're telling more followers to join your video uh please and also here on facebook i hope you join us so today for uh your tarot reading we have the dark wood tarot sasha graham's dark wood tarot and uh, that's what we're going to be using today hello richard good morning Richard, who was on the live live celebration of the Circle's 50th, and uh, I was so nervous. And can we all together say how much we hate anxiety? Because at this point in my life, I just hate anxiety with all my heart, you know. It prevents me from enjoying Oh, yeah, we got home last night. I'm exhausted, but, you know, we're good. Hi, Janet. Welcome, Janet, to Coffee Break. So, anyway, we hate anxiety, but we made it. We made it through the weekend. All right, let's see a couple of tarot cards for us today. As Samhain approaches quickly. Okay. This one stuck to my hand, and you know that when they stick to my hand, that's it. I read them. So we have the tower reverse. And this is so interesting that we have the tower reverse as we are about to go over, over the hump, <laughs> you know, switch uh, years for those who celebrate Samhain Halloween as the year end and the new year beginning um, those who follow the wheel of the year this is the time right in which we are preparing to celebrate the new year and there's something about new endings and new beginnings with the tower and it's something that is telling us you know change ourselves to the core to change things that are very um vital very significant about us and in this case the tower reverse the sun is like hey no hold on you don't have to make those radical changes at this moment you know hold on a minute uh don't get divorced just yet don't get uh, marriage as yet don't um, shave your head bald just yet you know whatever changes that you're planning to make at this moment you are being told not to we are being told not to go into them yet so that tower comes reverse 
Let us understand that if the tower was right side up, it will be telling us, yes, there's something that is not working for you anymore. This is time to let it go. It's time to change. Um, it's primordial that you make these radical changes. Nope. Um, this is on us. Let's hold on for a little bit. Let's table that as, as people say on, you know, corporation meetings. Let's table it. So this is telling us to table that for a minute. The second card that we have is the card of strength. And strength is also reverse. You know. And the thing about the card of strength is it it matches together or it, it is the meeting of the minds or the meeting of two halves that make us whole. Or in or intuitive self or in our instinctive self, that's the word instinctive, and our analytic self. And this one is telling us to give the analytic self a break <laughs> and to allow our animal self to allow our instinctive self our raw animalistic being to take over for a minute. Overthinkers unite. <laughs> you know, it's we're we're being told not to overanalyze everything ad nauseum. So as we are preparing to go through the veil, through Samhain, to have the wheel turning. Uh, whether you observe it on October 31st or November 7th, um, it's just telling us to literally hang in there and go more with our instinct than we're thinking. Richard says, overthinking seems like a curse. I think it is, my friend. Hello, uh, Magra, Magra Rose and... Rahizi, who comes here quite often. Uh, thank you for being here. Janet, I already say hi. And yes, I agree, my friend, that overthinking could feel like a curse sometimes. And the anxiety that comes with the overthinking, I don't know what comes first. If the anxiety makes us overthink or if overthinking gives, gives us anxiety. I don't know. I'll have to ask my therapist. But I can tell you for sure. I had uh, high anxiety the whole weekend because I'm out with people and, you know, it's like, uh, try not to do the wrong thing, say the wrong thing. <laughs> you know, it's, it's horrible. But I had a great time. That is the main, uh, the main thing to say. I did have a good time. Anxiety and all. It was a great celebration. And, um, Moving on, I would like, hi, Kim Hu. Kim is watching. Even when Kim done comment, I know you're watching. <laughs> I, I can see you looking at me, looking at you. Oh, Richard. You, you, I love you. Thank you, friend. <laughs> Richard said, you were probably the toast of the town this weekend. Oh, my God, Kim. Kim says, you were in Wisconsin and I was in Chicago. <laughs> well, we got to fix that one time. And if you're not on Facebook, Kim made a Chicago flag with hearts. A white heart, a blue heart, a white heart, a red heart, a white heart, a blue heart, and a white heart. I like that. That is so cute. Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, my goodness. Uh, Ancestral Magic Summit starts today. Get your free tickets. Go to my link in bio. Go to the link here in the video. 
um, and go to the Ancestral Summit free tickets, free tickets. It's free. It's free to attend. And tomorrow I will be there teaching tomorrow night. Um, Day of the Dead Masterclass. So if you've never taken one of my Day of the Dead classes, this is the time to do so. Day of the Dead Masterclass, of course, I'm going to be talking about all things Day of the Dead. Origin, traditions, evolution, uh, new things that are happening that are being added, and uh, all the beautiful, beautiful customs. Not all of them, some of them. But, you know, we want to take a deep, deep dive into Day of the Dead as I have decided to make this a master class, it's a little bit fuller than any other classes that I've given. And highlight Dancy Nancy. And that's going to be online tomorrow in the afternoon, like around 6 o'clock in the evening, actually. So join us for that. It's free. And on November 10th, November 10th, we have our workshop called Fortuna's Embrace. Fortuna's Embrace, uh, healing our relationship with wealth. Hello, Quesada, and hello, marvelously, Marisa. You know why I'm not going to be busy with events the first week of November? Because somebody's getting married, and I'm officiating their wedding. <laughs> So November 1st and 2nd, I'll be MIA because I will be working with the wedding, with the groom and the bride getting ready to, to do the ceremony. But uh, on November 10th, we come back to work and do all the things. Uh, there are some events in between here and there, but I wanted to tell you that if you come to Chicago on November 10th, uh, you can come and join us to Fortuna's Embrace. Let me tell you a little bit more about that after I pull the next card. Marvelously, Marisa says, I call dibs on your time, LOL. Marisa was very smart, and she and her fiancé, Jason, hired me for their wedding last year or a year and a half ago. <laughs> it's been a long time. Mm. A long, long time they said dibs. All right, we're going to use the Halloween Tarot, I mean, the Halloween Oracle, and do it, do it, do it, do it. All right, there's one. Ooh! The Lady of the Muertos. Lady de los Muertos. And... Fun fact, when I bought this oracle and I saw the research that went into this card is when I fell in love with Stacy DeMarco and all her work. Acknowledging that death is a natural process that will enter everyone's life at some time and that perhaps until then, we can choose to be life affirming takes away much of the fear take a light approach to a situation initially and it might work out better if you are holding on to something that does not serve you any longer and particular material things simplify and let it go madame paris welcome <laughs> Marvelously, Marisa said, a year and a half sounds right. I knew I had to book you before anyone else could beat me to it. You are correct. Lady de los Muertos says acceptance and equality. Pell, you step out of the night in red lace. Full flowers upon your crown. You bring the beauty to death, the equality and joy of the underground. I love it. Acknowledging that death is a natural process that will enter everyone's life at some time. And that perhaps until then, we can choose to be life-affirming. 
takes away much of the fear. Take a light approach to a situation initially and it might work out better. If you are holding on to something that does not serve you, you any longer, and particularly material things, simplify and let it go. And then she says, Pale you step out of the night in red lace, full of flowers upon your crown, you bring the beauty of death, the equality and joy of the underground. So let me tell you a little bit about we're gonna we're gonna do another Halloween card, but let me tell you about the workshop that we're doing on November 10th. Healing our relationship with wealth, right? Fortunus embrace healing our relationship with wealth because we are in a world that is so incredibly the capitalism is literally making us all sick. That's why a lot of us have anxiety. But it's also the indoctrination, right? How we have grown believing all these tall tales that we are told of scarcity and not things not being enough and we have to fight each other to achieve this that, and the other. And the truth of the matter is that is not true. That is just the programming created by the powers to be for us to be fearful and to literally fight ourselves. So it's not na a natural fight. This uh, man-made. And when we return to nature, when we return to um, ba ba basic concepts like gratitude and consciousness and thinking and sometimes overthinking we can help it but if we redirect that into like let's focus on what is and not what we have been told we we really truly change our mind and when we change our mind we change our reality that's the basics of ma magic or at least the magic that i work and so I am inviting you all to come to this workshop. The early bird tickets that are $75 right now will be extended. Why? Because I didn't promote it enough uh, because I was traveling and we haven't sold <laughs> too many tickets. So we're going to extend the early bird uh, to 75 and if you ever been to any of my workshops before, you know you get a special discount. Um, and if you don't know the code for the special discount, if you've been to my prior events, hit me up. And I can tell you because you get a little bit extra discount after the early bird. But early bird will end Friday for, for real, for real um, on November 1st. And then from there, we, we do the workshop. And I hope to see you there. It's going to be at Papa Locali in Pilsen. Oh, my God, Marisa, where were you Friday? Marisa say, I've had to work on accepting being a human being instead of a human doing. It is okay to just be. I try, I try, I try really hard myself. And I still give myself all this anxiety all the time. Um, and you know, it's like, it's a lifelong unlearning. It's a lifelong project of unlearning the things that we've been programmed with and to unlearn the harm that society, parents, traditions, etc., had done to us and just be just existing. And that applies to everything, to anxiety, to overthinking, to our healing and to high AJ. And to our spiritual growth, to our autonomy, to just existing and being, and especially when you get bombarded with all this trash that is especially heightened at this moment, you know, uh, it's a little too much. All right, we're going to pull a second card for the um, Halloween Oracle. 
Hello, Christopher. <laughs> I can look at you. I can see you looking at me, looking at you. Just like I told Kim, because it tells me when somebody's watching on, on Facebook. But I cannot say hi until you comment, like with AJ, that just comment. Rise now. Hello. Welcome. And let's pull one more oracle card for the Halloween Tarot. The Halloween Tarot is the werewolf. Werewolf? The wolf. Did you all watch uh, Young Frankenstein? It's one of my favorite movies ever. Young Frankenstein. It's right up there with the usual suspects in Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, werewolf. The werewolf is a kind of shapeshifter, but one that has traditionally had little control over his wildness. In a way, an inner battle between civilization and wild animal nature fights inside the one body. The vitality, strength, and freedom of the animal versus the reason, control, and intellect of the man. Which one, though, is the dominant force? What is the healthy balance between our animal nature, one that is wild and free, and connected to nature and our radically civilized humanness, separate from or dominant over nature? How much this matches that card of strength reverse that we had in the beginning of this coffee break? Everything. A lot. All of it. We're being told to be uncivilized. And I like it. <laughs> Luminosity triggers it. A wild moon rises. Pain and blood and fangs fur and howling and wolf and geysers. Hello, Vibe Space. It's so interesting that we are being told to just be wild. I guess we have to. If the divine is giving us that message, we should probably follow it. The werewolf is a kind of shapeshifter, but one that has traditionally had little control over his wildness. In a way, an inner battle between civilization and wild animal nature fights inside the one body. The vitality, strength, and freedom of the animal versus the reason, control, and intellect of the man. Which one, though, is the dominant force? What is the healthy balance between our animal nature, one that is wild, free, and connected to nature, and a radically civilized humanness? Separate from our dominant nature. And then the image tells us, right? Lumin luminosity, luminosity triggers it. A wild moon rises. Pain and blood and fangs. Fur and howling and wolf and geysers. Guys, we've been advised to be wild and free. Where were these advices on Friday? <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. I am uh, anxious. And when I'm out with a lot of people, it just gets a little bit more. Anyway, enough about me. Uh, why do I share these things with y'all? Because when we share our innermost vulnerability we get to help other folks that think that they're by themselves trapped into this overthinking anxiety merry-go-rounds i'm not happy to be anxious it hurts but me telling you that it happens to me maybe it helps you understand that it happens to a lot of people to mostly everybody and that's why nature is calling us back to be wild and free uh, marisa sir let's get wild this weekend yes let's this weekend i'm gonna be at my baking cafe on halloween 
on October 31st, I will be at Mindful Baking Cafe. Uh, there's going to be uh, uh, the Witch's Brawl. There's going to be other vendors there. Please forgive me. I have forgotten. Uh, I know vintage. I can go look it up. Y'all hang in there. I can tell you right now. Hello, Dree. Uh, who's going to be at Mindful Baking Cafe? Here it is. Uh, Anchor Baby Vintage, Cryptid, Cryptid Craft Studio, Soul Kurt Conscious Cannabis Rituals, and Laura Gonzalez Tarot. So that's going to be on Halloween proper on October 31st um, from 12 to 5. Sarah Elizabeth is here and almost never live. That is true. Hi, Sarah. How are you? And Dree, thank you for being here as well. And um, so, yeah, we're going to be at Mindful Cafe, Mindful Banking Cafe on October 31st. Uh, we have Lucha Vegan on November 3rd. We have uh, just their readings just by myself at Mindful Banking Cafe. Again on, again on the 8th. On November 2nd, we have a wedding. Sorry, I'm not going to see you because I'm going to be officiating a wedding. And um, on November 10th, obviously, we have the um, Fortuna's Embrace, Healing Our Relationship with Wealth. Early bird is extended until Friday. And if you're taking any of my other workshops... Uh, you get a special discount for the Fortuna's Embrace workshop. If you don't know the code, let me know and I give you the code, but it should be on your inbox. It should be of your on your inbox. And I'm seeing some of the folks that have been to my prior uh, workshops. So go check your inboxes. And La Dancing Nancy says, I want to go to Lucha Vegan. Lucha Vegan is going to be November 3rd at Choco House in Pilsen. Choco Gallery House in Pilsen. So if you haven't bought tickets for uh, Lucha Vegan, you still have time. So see you around town. Let's breathe and be animals. <laughs> and not change to the core. And deal with our anxieties and overthinking. And go exist. And go be. That that's all we need to be is to be. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and I will see you Wednesday. Until we meet again, you are loved. Bye bye.